Three revolvers. GG guys. GG. I'm gonna make a video about uh, something called Pika's advantage. Actually, I can uh, I can sneak peek it. Should I do it now? I want to show you. I want to show you exactly what happened in that moment. I'll whatever. I'll just show you something here. Let me show you what happened here. You see how quick that guy reacted? The thing is, he actually didn't. So what I'm about to show you right now is a recording of two players that are perfectly synced with the server. So every each player is what these players are seeing when this occurred. This guy over here, in this case, this is the guy that just killed me. And I'm this guy out here, standing there, looking over here. So you see, I look there at the other guy and this is me, okay? So just just check this out. This is in slow motion. So now the peaker is starting to move out. And at this moment, boom. Can see the full body of the other player. You see over here? This player can't see anything. Completely blind to what's happening. We continue. Still can't see anything. This is what happens in the game. This is what happens. That's why now, if I'm this player, I have, I have all the time in the world. I'm like, oh yeah, there's a guy there. I'll just carefully aim at that guy. And the other guy still can't aim. You see? So if you're just standing there holding your angle, you're in a bad spot right now. And now, now you see the other guy. When I'm about to aim, that's when he could just see me coming out there. First shot, hitting right there. I'm not taking any damage over here yet. Two shots fired, nothing happening still. So, and since the server is client wreck hit wreck, that means that these two hits, they did hit. So you just took two hits, you just don't know it yet. And that's why, you know, all these times when you shoot a player and hey, I hit him, but that didn't hit. Well, that's because you were already dead because the other guy's game told the server that you were dead. So it got canceled. And now you see I'm starting to fire, but in this case, you're already dead. How are you going to recover from this? The only way to do that is to instantly hit with a headshot. Then you're going to be there. I mean, then you're going to be good. And now you're going to see what we call just normal desync. What you experience in the game, you don't experience this because you don't notice this. But what happens is when this player goes away, now this is you, right? You just fired at a guy. You didn't hit him. This guy is alive. So... Imagine the roles are a bit turned around. You want to go into cover. Look at this. So this is you going into cover. And this is the guy over here. Um, he's uh, he's he's going to shoot you. So look at when, he, when you go into cover. So now you're in cover. And if that other guy shoots you right now, well, you got to get hit. Now it's that other player's turn to have an advantage. You just had the advantage by peeking, so, and you failed in killing your enemy. Too bad for you, because you should have done that. Now the other player can kill you before you get to cover, because he can still see you. So he's, it, now it's gonna feel like you get shot around the corner, okay? Still pretty far behind cover, and you still see the other player, okay? So this is what is known as Pika's advantage. And the other thing is what you see, what you would normally just call desync, because there is a desynchronization um, from the clients to the server. But this is not only something that happens in PUBG. This, in fact, happens in all games. Um, it is more noticeable in a game like PUBG um, than it is on other games. And I think that has something to do with how quickly you die. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of information in PUBG compared to a game like Counter-Strike, where you only have five teams per side. So that does not require as much data transfer. And in Counter-Strike, you also have higher tick rate 
than you do in PUBG, at least when you play competitively. You definitely do when you play on, on competitive, maybe face it servers and stuff like that. And this is also a, a less of a problem in PUBG when playing on custom servers, because you also have a higher tick rate on custom servers there. But still, this is exactly what happened. So I'm not taking anything away from the guy that just killed me because I know this. So that's why don't be the guy that just stands like this. Because if you're standing there with your gun waiting for the guy to peek, well, you are giving that guy all the tools in the world to kill you. So what you have to do, you have to be the one peeking. That is exactly what you need to be doing. Okay? So there you go. That's it. Also remember that this is not a PUBG specific thing. Now look at this. Look at how bad I did this because I know this is a thing. I, I think I just forgot to be honest. You just you, you sometimes you just forget these things. I sync the clips by the server time. So you have the server time, uh, the timer when the game is going to end. That is identical for all clients. So I synced it perfectly with that. Well, to one sixtieth of a uh, of a second. So that is very accurate. So that is how it's synced. It's synced by the server time. So we have this guy there. And you see this guy is uh, doing exactly what he should. What am I doing wrong here? We just saw this is the exact same thing as we just saw in the clip. This is what I did wrong. I'm standing here like a complete idiot. And this guy is going to see me ages before I see him. So of course he's going to kill me unless he's really, really bad. Now that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.